Okay, so the question was a about um, trying to do spiritual work to escape pain, um, not able to get to the observer of pain, and when trying to do the observer, getting pulled back into the pain. Um, and so one of the things is... Um, so one of the things is like to be okay if if you do the spiritual work and nothing happens. It's an attitude of deeper surrender, uh, which will mean that you're not fighting to control the situation through spiritual work. So if you surrender that for the rest of your life, you're going to have pain and be okay with that. But your commitment is still to do spiritual work and not turn back to not doing spiritual work uh, for me that's alignment with god divinity uh, and to get you know to do that irrespective of whether pain is there or not that for me would alleviate a lot of the suffering so you're not one is not doing the work to escape the pain otherwise one gets into a thing of like the ego will say like if i'm doing the observer and i get pulled back uh you know, it will tell you something like, well, you you know, you just don't know how to do it. Well, that's your, from your ego. It, it might be that um, there's a different spiritual lesson that needs to be learned, which is to that you can't do the observer for the time being. And, and you've got to get to the place where you're OK with the pain, even if you can't do the observer and even if you're praying nonstop. Uh, and, so you know, so and, you know, Hawkins described um, he had 20 three illnesses he did things like the course of miracles and various other things and uh, all his illnesses left but they took you know some of them took five years of doing the course and cancelling stuff uh, my experience was um, gout and asthma took three years before they discharged me from the asthma and rheumatology uh, rheumatology clinics so that's three i mean it's not like two minutes or one year or even two years and the kidney failure took spiritual work for five years uh, and some of those times are pretty awful so you just don't know even if you're doing a lot of spiritual work or when it's going to go it's not it's not in your remit to know that and some often it's not in your remit remit to know that because there's another spiritual lesson you need to learn first uh, or sometimes you need to undo karma which you've done to others which you can't easily escape um, so imagine what Adolf Hitler, say Adolf Hitler, um, destroyed the lives of millions and reincarnates and comes back in a new body. Even if he's aware of spiritual work, uh, he might moan that it's taking a long time. <laughs> it's like, you, it'll, it'll, it's like, well, I've been doing this forgiveness stuff for um, three three weeks now and it's like the universe won't let me off the hook that easily. And, you know, other people are doing like one week's of forgiveness work. They're having miracles and blissing out. And it seems like um, there's something more that I'm having to sort of deal with here. So that there's things you can't see. The Hawkins described thing of, um, yeah. So he was able to go have operations without anesthetic and go off into bliss. But there was one time he wasn't able to do that. And I think this will give a lot of illumination and hope why sometimes you can't escape the pain. So he was very advanced in able to surrender and be with the pain and then go off into bliss, even in operations while they're cutting off his thumbs and stuff like that. No anesthetic, just using spiritual surrender. And then one time he had a hernia operation and it didn't work. All the spiritual stuff he knew didn't work. And he felt excruciating pain. And then he had a flashback because he was, you know, when you get, start to get to enlightenment, you start to get flashbacks to your past lives. Uh, I can explain why, but I'll do that in another video. So he flashed back to past life as he was experiencing this horrific pain in the hernia operation. And he, he saw that he was a soldier on the field and he had speared another man in the groin. And he didn't do the honorable thing and finish the soldier off so he didn't have to suffer of the horrific pain and the infections and no medical attention he just let him lie there and left and had the guilt of not doing the honorable thing and just finishing off the the soldier who he fought against 
Uh, and then as he was having this hernia and he couldn't escape through the spiritual work, he had a flashback to that lifetime, the guilt. So there was a reason why he didn't have the eligibility. He didn't have the privilege in that situation. It's like the universe blocked him, even though you know what to do. It's like this time you've got to go through the pain to to pay this one off. And so he did. But he did have the he was shown the lifetime and the reason why it didn't work, the spiritual work at that point. So um don't be despondent if you're doing lots of spiritual work and stuff isn't shifting. I mean, some of the things, you know, uh, you pr pray for a miracle that it be revealed to you um, where the le lesson is that you need to learn. Uh, it could be acceptance, just allowing it pain, not doing the work, you know, surrendering and doing the work irrespective of whether the pain stays or not and being okay with that rather than uh, I'll do the work for 10 minutes and I want the pain gone, which is, um, which is actually not surrender. And um, the other thing, and the same thing with the observer, if you get pulled back in and it didn't work today, um, having a thought that you, you can't do it, and you're not, that, that's just your ego. Just cancel those thoughts. Uh, it's okay if you can't do the observer today. Some days maybe you can't. Um, so I would suggest keep doing the spiritual work, even if it doesn't work, and trying to, you can pray to the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the lessons. Sometimes when the lessons are learned, um, uh, there's a lesson you have to learn before it will release. And sometimes you're unlucky and you, uh, th there is a reason why you have to face it. Um, Hawkins said through muscle testing, there are some things that are not forgivable, like blasphemy. Uh, blasphemy, um, you'd have to undo without an easy way out. So um, probably not going to get away with a few prayers if you've committed blasphemy. Uh, that comes through muscle testing. Okay. So I shall, um, let me give me a second, I'll stop the